Hi, I'm Pat, and today we're learning how to play my arrangement of Love Me Do in Open D tuning. Uh, lots of interesting things to work on with this tune. Uh, alternating bass technique, big blocking, intonation, and it's also a challenging one if you want to play it at the final tempo. So we're going to focus on all those required techniques to help you play the tune right. Uh, this lesson also comes with three pages of tablature, so make sure to print out that first. And now let's get started learning Love Me Do in Open D tuning. Okay, so let's start off with the intro, the first four bars, and it sounds like this. So this is measure one to four, right? And um, the first important thing I want you to notice is that I'm slightly muting the bass notes, the three lower strings, with the palm of my hand, this part here. I'm resting it on the three lower strings, slightly muting them, like this. And that's basically to make the melody really stand out when I keep a steady rhythm on the bass notes. So I've got my right hand uh, just in front of the bridge. This is the bridge here, and just in front of the bridge, I'm slightly muting those three bass notes, okay? And you gotta experiment a little bit to find the sweet spot on your instrument, but it should be near the bridge, okay? So try to practice that first, and of course don't mute too much, right? otherwise you won't hear the bass notes. So measure one, we're playing over an A chord, and it sounds like this. So measure one, I just keep playing this open fifth string for the bass note. Slightly muting it. One, two, three. I tilt up my bar at the 4th fret 1st string, I pinch strings 5, 2 and 1, thumb index and middle, a quick slide on the beat, like this, make sure that you're in tune there, 1, 2, then open 5th string again, then I go back to the 4th fret, and I pinch again those 3 strings, 5, 2 and 1, 1, Measure 2, we're playing over a D chord now, I tilt up my bar at the 1st fret, 1st um, string, I pinch strings 6 and 1, thumb and middle, and I slide from 1 to 2 on the beat, quick slide, like this, 1, uh, 2, uh. and I pick the open 2nd string with my middle, then 4th string with my thumb, so here, um, I'm doing this with my thumb. Okay, one, two, three, four. So you pick this open second string again with the middle. One, uh, two, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Then open sixth string with your thumb. So again, your thumb does this. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, Pick again this open second string with the middle. Then you pinch strings 4 and 2 with thumb and middle, and you pick again this open second string with your middle. It's all 8th notes here. 1, uh, 2, uh, 3, uh, 4, uh, 1, uh, 2, uh, 3, uh, 4, uh. And notice here uh, how I'm using pick blocking on some of those melody notes. See? This note here. Okay? One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Uh, it's a bit tricky to mute like this, so practice that very slowly. Three, we're back playing over A. So again, I slide here from four to five, same thing as measure one. But then I pinch strings five, two, and one again. One, two, uh, and I pick this first string again with my middle. One, two, uh, then I 
go to the fourth fret and I pinch again strings 5, 2, and 1. And then I pick again the first string. And here again, I'm using pick blocking when I reach this bass note. Check it out. Mute. All right. Okay. One, two, a, three, a, four, a, and then I pick again this first string. One, two, a, three, a, four. Okay. And then measure 4 is exactly the same as measure 2. Alright, same as measure 2. So let's review those first 4 bars slowly. Try to play along with me if you can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 